preaching and practicing the character of a good leader. Leadership is one of the characteristics of the human person. It is that which makes us unique from every other creature. It is a gift from God by which we serve him and our neighbor responsibly. But this gift often has been abused and misused by people who are entrusted with the responsibility of leading others, just like the scribes and the Pharisees in our gospel passage today, who had the responsibility to lead the people to the kingdom of heaven. But with their ugly ways of life, they neither enter nor allow those who want to go in to enter. And Jesus told his disciples that since the scribes and the Pharisees occupied the chair of Moses to teach, to instruct, they must therefore do what they tell them and listen to what they say, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tied up heavy burdens and laid them on men's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move any. Everything they do is done to attract attention. I serve you. Hence, Jesus made it clear that we should listen to what the authorities are saying to us. However, we should not be such people who do not put into practice what we preach, what we say. So, as Christians, we need to start practicing what we preach. We need to do more of witnessing than preaching. When I was reflecting on this uh, reading, I was like, do I have anything to say? Because I need to ask myself, do I practice what I'm going to say to my people? Am I going to practice it? Have I been practicing what I used to tell my people? But little energy in my heart saying that it's your responsibility to do what? To preach. And it's also your duty to practice. So, I got the strength to be able to speak to you this, this afternoon. If not, I could have just take the gospel and we continue the mass like that. So, it is not enough for us to recall principles, state intentions, point out blatant injustice, and utter prophetic denunciations of different kinds. If our faith did not show what we preach, then all our efforts is a waste of time. Because these days, people are not interested in all what we say. We say a whole lot, but our life speaks different. And people are paying attention to what our life is saying than what our words of mouth say. So Jesus is calling our attention to this very fact that we must learn to put into actions what we say and not just what we say, another different thing we do. So Jesus called the scribes and the Pharisees hypocrites because they misuse the gift of leadership entrusted to them. So today, we are called not to be like them. Rather, we should be humble, committed, and responsible with whatever we are entrusted with. Whatever position I find myself, whatever duty I have been called to do, I have the man obligation to ensure that I carry it out properly. So Jesus is telling us that today, as we listen, that we should not behave like the Pharisees and the scribes, but rather 
we should learn to apply humility in whatever we do. He made us to know that the greatest among us must be the servant of all. Because anyone who exalts himself will be humble. And anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. But this is not the action in our society today. As some people tell you, I dare not. Humility doesn't work here. It's not a, I'm not a humble man. No. I'm not a humble woman. Humility here does not, be, does not mean being foolish. But sometimes it means submissive. Submissive to what God is saying to us and what the situation requires of us. In every situation, humility requires that we listen. Humility requires that we set out what ought to be, whether it favors me or the other person. Humility requires that I listen to what the other person is saying. Also, from our gospel, we need to acknowledge that our authority as leaders come from God. For we are not to be pride ourselves as rabbis, teachers, leaders, fathers, mothers, priests, pastors, and prophets as we have in our world today. Having title is the way of life now. I am Dr. Pastor Reverend Wright Canon. Everything is just to acquire names. That's, it's not just enough that we have this title. That, that title is not supposed to be exercised in our name or in our capacity. Rather, our action should reflect the paternity of God in the way we live our life in relation to our service to others. Because it is God who has given us the opportunity to serve. So that is why he said, do not call anybody your father on earth. Because that fatherhood, that paternity belongs to who? God. So if anybody will have to bear that title, he must make reference to that link, the origin of that authority, which is God. So if we are called fathers, that means the fatherhood we bear is not on our own name or our own authority or from the paternity of God whom we represent. If you are a priest, you are a priest not on your name, on yourself, but in the person of Christ whom you represent. If you are a father, you are a father in the name of God who has given you the authority to cheer your home. If you are a mother, as the mother is an office, it's a title given to you by God. So you bear that title in respect to God who has offered it to you. So when you are called father, when you are called mother, when you are called pastor, you are called in the link of the paternity of God whom we serve. And if we appropriate that authority to ourselves, then we are missing the link. That is what Jesus is correcting us today, that we call no man father on earth. For we have one father in heaven. So, whatever we do, we must make sure that the rightful authority Glory, honor is given to him who deserves it, and that is God. And that is where humility comes to play. When some people have embraced what does not belong to them and make it their own, then they leave God out of it. The Lord said, when you exalt yourself, you will be humbled. When you humble yourself, you will be exalted. Therefore, let us imitate our Lord Jesus Christ by loving and serving God and our neighbor in simplicity of heart and not be part of those ugly actions of most of our leaders in our society today who rather has made themselves God and taken God away from their own actions. In our society today, people prefer to take God away and put themselves. For God. That is not who we are. 
we hang, that's what we are, we heard in our first reading today, when the prophet, God is speaking through the prophet, saying to us, oh now, priests, leaders of this world, this warning is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not find it in your heart to glorify my name, I will send the curse on you and curse you, your very blessing, I will curse it. But you who have strayed from my way, you have caused many to stumble by your teaching and actions. Brothers and sisters, this is what we see in our world today. When people are using the name of God to mislead others, to extort from people, to mislead people, to make people look inferior. When we do that, we should listen to what the Lord is saying in our first reading today. We should know that that authority, that privilege we have, is just for a while. This should not be our portion. Rather, we should listen to what St. Paul is saying in our second reading today. When he said, let me remind you, brothers, how hard we used to walk, laboring night and day, so not to be burdened on any one of you while we were preaching God's good news to you. For like a mother feeding and looking after her own children, we felt so devoted and protective towards you and had come to love you so much. Brothers and sisters, St. Paul is a good example of leadership that we need to emulate. Who Serve the people who were there for the people. He spent his life preaching the gospel, the gospel passion of Christ, not to assault or take away from the people, but rather to offer to the people. And that is what we are called to do. All of us, when we speak like this, it seems as if it is the priest who are speaking or who is to be um, uh, addressed to. But we have forgotten that all of us here are what? Priests by the virtue of our what? Common baptism. And our responsibility is to do what? Evangelize. How are we evangelizing? How are we preaching the gospel? How are we communicating? All of us here have responsibility that we are given to carry out. How am I carrying out the responsibility given to me as a father, as a mother? I used to tell people, fatherhood is an office. Motherhood is an office. How am I carrying out that office given to me, even though when I don't deserve it, because the fatherhood belongs to God, and motherhood is for God. But God has given me the privilege to be a mother. How am I steering my home? Am I steering my home to the right direction as a mother? As a father, am I guiding and protecting and providing for my, my family as I ought to? Am I sincere? Will I say one thing and do the other? You said I love you and I will cherish you all the days of my life. Am I still loving and cherishing that person that I have said I will love, I will cherish for better, for worse, in sickness and in health? Am I doing that? Am I, have I separated myself from what I have said before the people of God that I will take you as my loving husband and nurture you and be with you in sickness and in health? Am I still like that? If I'm not doing that, I'm just like the Pharisee that Jesus is saying. We preach one thing, we do the other. In my office, where I have an assigned work to do, whether as the CEO of the office or somebody who works for somebody, am I actually doing the right thing I'm supposed to do? If I'm doing that, then I am doing what God, the Lord said we should do today. But if I'm not doing that, I'm only depending on my pay. When the time comes, I receive my salary and I go. I am just like the Pharisees and the scribes. The Lord is saying to us today, let us be serious with what we do. Dear friends, preaching the word of God is not enough. We must learn to practice what we preach. We must strive to follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ and dedicate ourselves completely, totally to God. Look at Jesus, even though he was 
God all the time. He never appropriates that to himself. He goes to the Father to pray. He goes to pray. My Father is walking, so I walk. Everything he does, he still makes reference towards God the Father. The same thing with me and you. Whatever position I find myself, I must make reference to the owner of that position, which is God. Because every position I acquire in this world, it is God at work. I am only a servant and a messenger in that position. But that is how am I now carrying out the work given to me? We must learn from Jesus to always and making sure that we do whatever God asks us to do according to his holy will. The Lord is teaching us, speaking to us today as leaders in different capacities we find ourselves not to be like the Pharisees and the scribes, but rather we must learn to preach and do what we preach. Today, my brothers and sisters, can I be that good leader that humanity is looking for? We see in our country, Nigeria, that we have blessed with everything. But the problem is what? The problem is what? Leadership. So it means that all Nigerians are good in everything except in leadership. Is that true? Is that true? But that's, they say that all our problem is one thing, leadership. And among all Nigerians, we cannot find one good leader. Is that the situation? Let us reflect over this. If we, in every capacity we find ourselves, turn out to become good leaders everywhere, then it will not be difficult for us to get one good leader at the top. But because in different capacity we are exercising our carrying out our assignment, we are not exercising, we are just there. We are not doing the right thing. Even when you volunteer to be one of the good leaders, at the process, you find yourself what? Thrown out. It still be issue of what? Leadership. So let us begin from ourselves. Let me begin from my own very self. Am I a good leader to myself? Do I guide myself even properly? Do the right thing I'm supposed to do? Wake up when I'm supposed to wake up? Do the things I'm supposed to do? Go to places I'm supposed to do? Carry out the assignment that I'm supposed to carry out? Pick something that I need to do and do them. If I say that I will do this and I do them, the other person say he will do it and he does it, the country will be nice. The society will be good. Our families are suffering today. Many families are, in, are burning down. Why? Because somebody says something. Somebody is doing another thing. The day we begin to say something, or even not say at all, but keep doing, our families will be good. Go to families. Leadership is still the problem in the families. Father is no longer just father. It's something else. Mother is no longer his mother. It's something else. Children, I don't even know what to say about. Why not we so say, if my, our country, Nigeria, is not good, let my family be good. Let me just be that good father in my family I'm, and be the president of my family. As a president of my family, I bring my wife together, I bring my children together, I bring my workers together, all my gardener, all my security men, I govern them as the president of my own family and I will be that good president. If you be the good president in your home, your neighbors will benefit from it. And by so doing, we change the narrative. And when we keep on looking for one God in heaven that will select for us a wonderful leader, I think we will struggle and struggle. May God help us not to be in vain. The Lord is calling us today, brothers and sisters, that we should learn to lead. Look at the situation in our world today. War, genocide, kidnapping, terrorism. All these things, where is it coming from? Because people say one thing and do one thing. If we change the narrative today, our world will be a peaceful place. The world is seen as coming to an end. Tomorrow, there will be war there. As if the war there is uh, coming to an end, another one sprangs up somewhere. As if there are people who are instigating it, let this one is going down. Let us start from the other side. Look at the 
issues going on in Africa from one country to the other. And even those who have not experienced it, they are not helping matters. Why? We say one thing, we do another. The Lord is calling us today. He cannot change our country, Nigeria, only me. But he can, I can change my head. I can change myself. Let us begin to change the narrative. I pray, brothers and sisters, that the Lord calls us today to learn to put into action what we say we will do. May we be doers of the word. If possible, I will say, let us stop preaching. Let us begin to apply. Let us begin to apply. If you are a father here, if you go back home, call your wife. Begin to do the right thing. If you are a mother, begin to apply the right thing as well. If you are a child, just do the simple thing that the Lord has said you should do. The Lord is your father and your mother. Do the right thing. Wake up, clean up the house, and put things in order, and go to school and study for your own good. Just be a wonderful child. If you are a youth, put into the youthfulness that God has given to you. Don't waste your life. Why waste your life for nothing? But there are so many things to do. There are so many contributions to do that you are just wasting on the social media, looking for who will like you or who will hate you. Is that what we are called to do these days? I have 20 likes. I have 100 hits. It doesn't work that way. Contribute to the society positively by your way of life. I pray, brothers, the Lord help us to take that.